Oh, welcome one and all to the Wednesday usual. One moment. Mm. Mm. Navigate your reacts here. Just, uh, ooh, excuse me. Getting warmed up for the stream. Long, stupid day. Ugh. Ah, there it goes. Put that out of the way. Long, stupid day of short, stupid things, and, uh, oh, after a day of tedious adulting, it's nice to get back into murdering cyborg dudes as, uh, cyborg dude. Where the hell was I going with this? Ugh. Oh, well, anywho, it's going great. Welcome back, King Thunder. Um, how long am I doing? Uh, last several times I've gotten on here, I've had soda as my wake-up beverage of choice, and it's it's okay, but it's no coffee. Uh, too many things get me pressed for time on setup. But it doesn't matter because I'm here. I'm here, and I have a sharp, pointy stick in the form of katana, and right in his hand. Let's see where this goes, because I remember Monsoon last week. I remember that kicking my ass. That was admittedly just a smidge embarrassing. Oh boy, it's going great though. It's going great. Oh, checking for downloaded content. Uh, As Mech Warrior and Mercenaries, very own arena announcer Duncan Fisher once said, I grew up watching Batman. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> A man after my own heart. Oh, man. Oh. I guess I was a bit more tense than I thought I was. Where was I? Oh. I'm a bit lacking in the gaming news department, so probably have a few older tidbits let some of the other stuff build up because I've been doing other things but work's been ridiculous so I'm only just now finishing uploads of the last two streams the brains are in the server room undergoing training knock yourself out go nuts oh that um, that sounds really promising so yeah, like I said, I've only just finished the uploads for, you know, Saturday and Sunday streams. The first, uh, Last Raven episode, and, uh, was it the third Onimusha? Yeah, so. I'm sorry, sir. Our business hours for the day have ended. We are looking forward to your next visit. That's creepy as hell. They actually have better ones of those in real life. Um... <laughs> Oh, man. Holy crap, is she? Okay, jump. Oh, man, that's so weird. I'll take your electrolyte pack, though. Okay, one moment. Missy, have that pack note. Okay, Virgil, DMC3, because I am definitely looking to Devil May Cry goodness. Costumes. Corrupted Virgil. Turns him into Nilo Angelo in Devil Trigger. That is so awesome. I've got to get back to that game. I kind of want to. If you do not comply, I will need to contact local law enforcement. Oh shush. Watch out. Oh, Ripper mode. So both sticks. Okay. Now let's see how Ripper mode handles. Cause oh, might help if I actually remembered how to do controls. Oh, super variant unlocks Nilo Angelo forever. Damn, I need to pick that game up after all. I'm gonna pick it up. Start it up again, I, I should say. Pick up my safe file. Okay. A little out of practice. Oh, okay. Because I'd very much like to go ahead and grab Devil May Cry for this payday. Okay, hello. Do that. Also, whoops. I have to remember the lock button. Oh, oh, hello. You're not Blade Wolf, you're an imposter! Ah. 
Okay, come on. Okay. Oh, there is it, huh? Forgot about codes. Oh! Whoop! And... Hmm, shoppy puppy. There you go. I know Blade Wolf had an advanced AI, but I'm sitting here imagining like them them sticking brains into these things too. I know it's not out of the realm of possibility in here. Oh, right. Grab that. That even does a little spin flourish and everything. He's just, having, he's just having too much fun here. Come on. Upstairs? Yeah, solid B. Alright. Raiden, Sundowner contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. Sundowner. I could not remember that guy's name. <laughs> oh, man. And Virgil's one of the reasons I wanted to pick up Devil May Cry 4. Because I seem to remember him being involved. Cutscenes and whatever goodness. But I've only ever played a demo. And I can't remember. I want to say the 360 demo... Had more focus on uh, what's his name? Uh, Nero, Nero, I should say. So I'm pretty much set my sights on the special edition after finding out about the extra characters. Thanks again for that, King Thunder. I had not done that research. Let's see. Come on. How much? This is the... that's the... That is some secure-ass security glass. Okay, that's... Hmm. One moment. Okay. Bits of... weirdness on my machine's end. Okay. Okay, so unlock everything unlocks almost everything is, is what I'm getting. Okay, that's um strange, but I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, give me all these rocket launchers. I have a feeling, homing missiles, whatever. I have a feeling they're going to be very useful. Come on, glass. Okay, okay, glass. Not even get out of my way. I'm tired of glass. Thank you. Thing I should have done in the first place. Mm. Let's see. Doesn't unlock the two styles you get from story progression, so you have to get them in there. Okay. Okay. This looks like a trap. And. The ah. elevators appear to be disabled. Which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea. By all means, yes. Hmm? It seems the guards are storming the building. Took them long enough. Okay. Co-op playthrough. I forgot that game had co-op ability. Whoa. Oh, well. Saw something about a UGD. Damn it. We'll spin up time on this. Okay. Someone's. Okay, they're right here. If anyone needs to take a doop, it's Sundowner. I'm gonna take a doop on his head. His robo. Dome, whatever. I got nothing for that. Damn it. What the hell? Get off me. Alright, there we go. Practicing precision cutting skills? Oh, wow. Um. Sadly, no. I have not had much of a chance to do much of anything. Okay, whoa, hello. Where are you at? Ah, 
Damn it. Oh. So I guess it's gonna be a bit more trial by fire then. Oh, hello, yoink. Give me hollow chips. Ranch, preferably. Okay. That worked better than I expected. The hell? Okay, so more laser sights. Ripper mode, okay. There we go. You guys can't take many bullets, can you? You, you aren't real ninjas. Enough with the guard. Just get in the elevator. Oh, the elevator's open. Damn it! I missed that part. Okay. <sighs> Boy. For security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. Okay, and I guess that's where the... Precision cutting comes into play. The electrical panels yeah. are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR mm. to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. Right, unusual heat sources. Like roaches and hidden cigarettes, maybe? Okay. Yeah, destroying three of something, yeah, that's... All the way back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, that's where my mind immediately goes, and long, long before that. Okay, where's the... Um, cut this. Not an unusual heat source, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, the electrical panels. Oh, hello! Ah, the security gate. It is composed of steel alloy, bonded by a high-frequency electrical current. It should unlock once the power has been cut. Hmm, so I suppose I need to find where that cable is. Oh. The hell? I have to collect to jump on the table. Okay, got it. Okay, so follow the line, looks like, and trace it to its source and murder the piss out of it. Yep, doors. That's how they work. So in here and oh, there should be an electrical panel. I found you. No choice now. Yes, I could have stealthed in here. Damn it! You know my strong suit. Okay, parrying. Got to get my my parrying game back up. Oh, grenade! Granata! Okay. So yeah, while all that E3 media blitz was going on, there was a piece of information I like touched on briefly. Oh crap. Come on. Whoa, damn it. I'm trying to activate Ripper mode here and it's not happening. I need full meter for that. Okay. Yeah, so Borderlands 2, that DLC that's supposed to be free, apparently this was not made terribly clear, although. Oh, hello. That's... Oh, take the big guy out first here. Yeah, the DLC is apparently not available on... Oh, hello. 360 and PS3, so... That was unfortunate, but I at least have it on... Okay. Yeah, there's a free DLC that was released um, during E3 that ties in the events between Borderlands 2 and 3. And apparently it's free for the first month it's out, so it's still currently free. 
Okay, whoa, hello. The only problem is it's not free. Okay, I'm getting wrecked here. It's not free on, it's not, it doesn't exist for 360 and PS3. It's only for current gen consoles is the frustrating thing. So I checked that this morning. I wanted to look it up and see if it was available because it's story DLC. It should be free for the Handsome Collection. Everything everything after the um, PS3 and uh, 360 releases. Okay, I'm getting destroyed. Here we go. Ripper mode. Here we go. What the hell? These guys were their damn explodey deals. No, you cut this out. Yeah, it's uh, like Commander Lilith and something, something. I can't remember the full title of it. I think it's Commander Lilith and the Fight for Sanctuary. I... Ugh. I have yet to play it, but I did want to see it was what platforms it's available on. It seems to be PS4, X-Bone, and PC, and I'm like, yay. Okay. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Mm, item box, grab this. Okay, where's the panel? Oh, grenade. You're not a panel, but y'all take it. Ah. Eh. Yeah, Randy Pitchford. That's not what I worry about him inserting in there, given the pin drive fiasco that apparently he had a pin drive he had to return to someone who was alleged there was CP on there, so it's like, oh shit, um, <laughs> that guy's got some problems. He's had legal problems for the past few months. Kind of came up on the, in the media and then disappeared within like a week, it seemed. Okay. Let's see, where's the panel hidden behind this? Oh! Like, I need to look up more stuff with Randy Pitchford to see if he does that M. Night Shyamalan nonsense where he just... Huh? Okie dokie. Hello. Okay, so that's, uh... Well, stealth is out the window. What the hell is that? Okay. Camera? I'm already bad enough. Okay, whoa. <clears throat> Room 2008. Okay, do not want to be in the way of where the hell that is. Okay, looks like EMP maybe? Okay, here we go. Targeting. USB that allegedly had illegal porn on it. I would I would not be surprised. Okay, whoa. I hope I have some kind of healy dealy. There we go. Oh. Alright, here we go. Not quite what I was aiming for, but I'll take it. Okay, move away. AI air, get in there. More. Seems kind of wasteful to burn that much meter just to take this damn thing down. Oh. What is your deal here? Okay, now I have no meter. Okay, gotcha. Finish him off. <sighs> what the hell? That thing have one of those. I thought this had a dwarf gecko in there. There's little arms that. And what the hell even was that? Ooh. Oh, it does have a dwarf gecko in it. Damn it! I thought you tricked me, and then you tricked me after not having tricked me. What the hell, even? There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. AR. 
follow the line here. Okay. Let's see. That'll yeah, take care of things. And back to the gate. Little oh, breadcrumb trails. I mean, is it really bad game design when games require detective vision for their. Okay. Yeah, these guys again. Oh, shit. Because I can't help but feel that this game is requiring detective. Whoa, sh move. Rete basically, this game detective vision for some of the stuff in here. And while I don't really have a complaint so much, when it's just an every now and then kind of thing, they laid it on way too thick and, thick and like, oh, hello. And like Batman. No, no, you, you definitively won't. Good, sir. Drakengard. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Well, I screwed that one up. C rank. Game, I respectfully disagree. Break and guard. Oh, the flight controls. I would very much like to pick up Drake and guard, but that flight control tip, it reminded me of the fact that there's a Panzer Dragoon port coming out on Where's the Note? Shit, I didn't write it down. I believe it was Switch. Like, just base-ass Panzer Dragoon. I'm like, how long has that franchise been dead? I think they said since, like, Orta on original Xbox. I'm like... Yeah, we need more of this. Uh, well, Speaking of as you wish, I must say I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you well, your past is most uh What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time you're working with first world ex military, grown men. Compared to the average third world child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them, they're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but uh this shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. So wait, is the Doctor having... Remake, right. Why did I say port? I know better than that. Damn it. But yeah, it's a full remake of uh, Panzer, Panzer Dragoon, and the footage they showed during the uh, Nintendo Direct. It looks pretty damn good. Oh, boy. In from everywhere. But then again, trailers are made to look good. So if uh, they farmed it out, hopefully they farmed it out to something, uh, let's say a little better than the 12-man team that was done to do Arkham Knight on PC, because that could end messily. It's nothing against Iron Galaxy. They can do good work, but... That one particular time, they they were very grossly understaffed. Uh oh. Let's see, where you at? Hello. Freaking bullets. Okay. Okay, let's go on ahead and zip through here real quick. And moving on. Okay, I can't help but feel like that cardboard box is a hint. Okay. Ninja dashing through ruined buildings. Somehow this seems oddly familiar. Oh, man. Sega, though. Holy crap. So, it was suggested to me in my YouTube feed something else I've been... Whoa, hello. Picking up a little bit of... Yeah, apparently Matt um, McMuscles is doing a playthrough of Sonic 06. And he's got Liam along for the ride. I'm like, I was not expecting that. I'm like, maybe two, three episodes in. Fun stuff. Holy crap, though, that game is, is... It's like I can't help but want to play that. I've mentioned before I don't have enough bad games. That's one I'd like to add to my list. Come on. Oh, damn it. 
I'll take it. That's a super base section on Nintendo 83. No, I really need to just download the podcast though. Oh, hello. And now I need to download the podcast for my walk to work. And uh, oh, hello. Gecko! You're not saving insurance? You can piss right off. Okay. Come on. Perfectophobia? Okay. Oh, yeah! Here we go. Okay, whoa. Hats apprehension. Let's see what we got here. Oh, up, up the wall. Up, oh, climbing. Oh, man. And admittedly, I haven't played any of the Panzer Dragoon games, so looking at that, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And since I don't have a Sega Saturn, but I do have a Switch, that might wind up being my jumping on point for the series. But I don't know if I should price check the game on Saturn or not. And hello, what the hell? Okay, this guy. I'm gonna have to adjust because I have not fought this guy in a while. Okay. Okay. And by adjust, I apparently mean not countering any of his hits at all. Come on. Get over here so I can parry you. See what happens. Mm. Maybe those homing missiles would come in handy. Oh, I blinked and I missed it. Damn it. I didn't think that was a thing that could happen. Come on. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. You know what? Nah. That's not how this is going to play out. Mm. Yes, it is. Okay, one moment. Okay, it's not letting me select items. Okay, have to be stopped apparently. Let's see, where's the RPG missile launch surface to air? No. RPG, let's go. Hmm. Seems like a bit of a waste though, just to try and get an opening on this thing. Come on, do something other than bullets, the prick. Whoa, damn it. Hit right there, okay. Oh, missed my opportunity. Okay. Yeah, I, having not watched enough of uh, the Super Best Friends stuff, you know, it's nice to see a bit more of uh, Matt and Liam and Reminds me, I need to get back to that uh, near playthrough. Oh, hello. Okay, narrowly dodged that. That would have been probably bad. Probably bad. Oh, here we go. Finally a parry. An actual parry. Yes! Rip out your robo-organs. Writing 3% health for like half that fight. Oh my god. Put to use? Hmm. Okay, here we go. Jumping from rooftop to rooftop like the Sandman or something. Okay, hello. What the hell am I doing? Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Okay, moving. Yeah, climbing. We'll uh, let, let's go with that. Um. Good, right? 
What? Damn it. I need to jump over those. It seemed like that one point almost walled me off right there. I'm missing something. Not here. Okay. And here's the point where I find out if I can jump it. Okay, there it goes. You can sort of jump it. Yep, D seems legit. Right away is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. Oh boy. <laughs> A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of the Flashback City is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So, what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. Green tea you leaves with me, I need some green tea. At a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. Zeke. I have located the server room as well. You right, can Doc? Is your wrap-up? Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear right. Now, head for the garden. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for the Sherlock Holmes pun stuff. Okay, we're... Damn it. We go. So, Spider-Man PS1. There are so many good gems on PS1. I'm gonna have to catch up on. Whoa, hello. Speaking of ninjas. Ah, I thought I was done playing Ninja Blade a couple weeks ago. Okay, here we go. Make sure I'm actually targeting now. Okay. Whoa, hello. Lots of red flashes, trying to make sure I'm focusing the right guy. And I'll take your organs. Oh god, data. Oh crap, that would have been great. Ah, missed it. Seems like I should have had a little bit more soda and or coffee. Okay, hello. Dreamcast in 64. Yeah, that's something I, rem I remember looking up a couple weeks ago. Um, Tony Hawk specifically. Uh, I think it's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 that I was looking at. I did not realize just how many games had ports on PS1, 64, and Dreamcast. So... I have to remember that going forward if I want to get more Dreamcast titles to fill up my library because there are quite a few games that I remember playing on the other two systems that had a Dreamcast port. And for the record, it was uh, my brother who had a copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on PS1. That's not something I think I would put on, a, on like a stream or on YouTube, but maybe on YouTube. Yep. But Spider-Man, I've heard nothing but good things about Spider-Man. That and I think uh, the PS2 uh, Spider-Man 2 movie game. I don't remember that, but that sounds awesome. Sadly, I've never watched Star Trek The Next Generation all the way through. So there are some high notes I, I missed, and I really, really want to get to that series because of them. Um... I need to check if that series is still on Netflix. Damn it, this guy's just destroying me. Where are the parries? I need to check and see if that series is still on Netflix and in two days maybe alternate it with Neon Genesis. Because two days Neon Genesis Evangelion drops on Netflix. Along with End of Evangelion and uh, what's it called? Evangelion Death True Squared or something? That I've Odd title. It's supposed to be like the definitive finale to the series of some such. Wolf super epic. Wolf super epic battle with the barrel. No, but I've heard of, of that, and that's one. <laughs> Stuff like that is one of the reasons I really want to watch that series. 
It's like they do a lot of really great stuff in there, and then they do stuff that's just... <sighs> it's super dumb, but it's the kind of dumb that doesn't make me sad like the dumb that's in Voyager, so it's great. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk hey. above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting material. You can take that to the yes, elevator. Yes, still there. Sweet. Hey, what the hell? Oh, great. More of those gorilla dudes. Uh... Hmm, I'm not pathing this very well. Need to handle this carefully. Mastiff, damn it! Kill him. Okay, where to go? Okay, here we go. Because I really haven't given the Star Trek franchise really enough love. Most of my experience with Star Trek is from the movies, and I um, can't remember the last TNG movie I watched. Um, it wasn't uh, Insurrection, although I did hear of that one. Hmm. I remember having a VHS copy of uh, Star Trek IV borrowed from the library, and we watched that thing to oblivion. Okay, here's... Okay, how about you? Can I descend upon you to deliver justice? There we go. Oh, hello. No, what was that noise? I just... Whoa. Okay, it gets meaner. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to get better about Ripper mode usage, too. Practice my ability with it, because I'm... Ah, probably best not to activate it while flying through the air, but hey, I'll take it. Okay. There is a downside for it. Okay, learning. Let's see. And it's just, speaking of Star Trek, that's another franchise. I don't. There's not a lot of like good games for you. You have like a million Star Wars games. There are a few Star Trek games, but um, what am I doing? But I'm not familiar enough with the games in that franchise to know which ones would be good. I think there's like a few ship commandery kind of titles. I gotta go up somehow. How did I get up there? Two days. Um, and that's gonna be so weird though. Um, going back through Evangelion for like, after it's been so long. There's gonna be a. Oh, damn it. Focus. I'm gonna have to start just like setting an alarm before stream to make sure that if I am at home I am literally running around in circles and this is embarrassing I am better than this brain, thumbs some cohesive movement effort no, stop running I can't sprint the tightrope here we go alright, now Camera's fighting me a little bit too. Uh, okay. So I need to go further up. Ah, here we go. Star Trek Voyager right. game on All PS2 the that supports the mouse and keyboard. Well, damn. Not bad. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually. I should thank you. It gave me a time to get a chance to get a lozenge. I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. 
From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? Yeah, get back to us when you're living in a world of cardboard, buddy. Is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. An FPS of Star Trek Voyager. That seems very, very strange. But props to them for allowing mouse and key usage. I mean, hello. Um, what am I? Okay, barrel. Photo frame. What the? Hmm. Barrel. There we go. Because I can't think of many games that, for like core gameplay, used the mouse and key. Whoa, what the hell? Wrong thing. Guess I gotta hit a button to equip it. Because, um, oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, don't even, buddy. Because I know the Armored Core games can use that mouse and keys for mech. Customization goodness. Oh, yeah. Good night. And take your robot organs. But that's totally different from actually being able to control your your player character. You have like Mecha MS Paint. Okay. There we go. Who's next? Which way are you facing? I do not want to. Don't want to. This is a bad place. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a really bad place. Come on. Okay, turn around. Hello. Alright. Maybe that barrel wasn't so necessary after all. Okay. If it supports a generic uh, mouse and keyboard, then I might just get it for the novelty of it. Sombrero girl. Hecho in Mexico. Give me the game where I can do this. If Saints Row the Third, was it Third? Third can have you play as a toilet in certain sequences. No, wait. That might have been four. Wow, those were two. Those are basically the same game, though, so whatever. Saints Row 3 slash 4 can have you play as a toilet for short sequences of gameplay. Give me the game where you can play a sombrero barrel. Like, the whole game. And it. Okay, what the. You ignore me! Okay, that's not happening. Um. Moving right along. I didn't honestly think that would work, but it'd be fun. Okay, so four does have bits where he plays the toilet. Okay. Oh. Okay, assholes. Cut this out. I wanted to say this, but hey. Cut this down a little bit. Because I've beaten Saints Row 3 and 4 pretty clearly, but they're, they're so close to being the same game, they just blurred together for me, which... Bad sign. Yeah. Considering they were basically going to make DLC for three, and that's what kind of spawned off four. I mean, I, I get kind of it, the, the gist of it, but it's disappointing that four was kind of shallow because of it. Just hoping that the Breath of the Wild sequel doesn't wind up the same. I mean, obviously it's not going to be the same, but, uh, yeah, it recently came out that that's one of the reasons they're making that Breath of the Wild sequel. It's because they had a whole bunch of DLC ideas, and it just didn't... Okay, that was not good. Come on. 
Something's wrong here. Why isn't it off with my timing? Here we go. The mech suit. That was... Honestly, the fighting the aliens portions, I wish there was a lot more of that in the game. Just way, way more of it. Because that was the most different to me from the rest of the Saints Row stuff that was on, on display. And so I couldn't help but want more of that. Okay. Can't remember if there was like any way to... I think later in the game you get to unlock it as like a toy to play around in your murder sandbox. But, you know. Eh. But the mech was really fun. Okay, hello. Speaking of mechs, this is giving me like the most armored core ass vibe. Just this long, long elevator. Oh, more friends. Crap, I should have gotten out of the introduction barrel. Hello. And luck, and take your organs. And props to the Saints for a endgame sequence, though, for the superhero armor and that wonderful You Got the Touch sequence. Oh, hello. That's, that's not great. Move! Okay, now it's not... Whoa, no. Okay. I uh, wasn't going to have much of an evasion there. Okay. I've got to start thinking how I'm going to do this. You forfeit your legs! Now get that damn dwarf gecko out of here. Okay. Oh boy. This is going smoothly enough. And speaking of mech content, there was another game. I missed the platforms. Starting out on Epic Game Store on PC, it's moving to Steam later. I Love to know what consoles it's coming to. I need to look that up. Phantom Brigade. So, yeah, Mech Combat. New uh, turn-based strategy thing. Has some interesting timeline... I was wondering when that happened. Has some interesting timeline mechanics where you apparently use an AI to predict the enemy's movement for their next turn and then try to counter their movement. And... If you don't quite predict things accurately enough, your mech can do things like trip over an enemy unit or stumble into or, or blunder through buildings. It looked really interesting. Alright. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's weird. It provides sort of a visual timeline of the enemy's expected movement. Oh, hello. Now we have fire. This is going to be... Okay. Can Raiden be hurt by fire? I'm going to assume yes. Yeah, it's... It's an interesting one, and I'm hoping that they put that game on consoles, because console just needs more real-time strategy as a whole. I mean, they're out there. Few and far between. Hello. Careful, Raiden. The elevator cannot take much more of this. Come to that adjacent platform. Huh? The platform is losing speed. Oh, Raiden, those assholes. The guys are interfering. Raiden, clear them out of the shaft. Yeah, work the shaft. Do not let them block the elevator. Okay. Now stop the dwarf geckos from mishandling my shaft. Okay, and... Whoop. Ew. Hello, gentlemen. Can I lend you a hand? 
for a bad pun. I have a few on offer. Do you mind? Somewhere there's someone monitoring these guys' movement, just sitting there, staring at his monitor, screaming, STOP EXPLODING, YOU COWARDS! Oop. Oh, yeah, you guys can have that one. Shaft resurrects Count Dracula. I'd watch that. Oh, good. Oh. We are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevators. You pass to the server security. Right through them. Wait, they haven't been deploying security all along? These guys, what, what are these? The welcoming committee? Yeah, stammering, stammering words. Okay. Hmm. I didn't get a lot of practice against these guys, so... Hmm, do I want to go Ripper mode yet? Nope, not yet, not yet. Okay, maybe yet. Um... It also help if I actually locked. Move! Oh. Hmm. This guy, oh, here we go. Take out some of the... Avian assholes. Work this out. Okay, they are not having any shenanigans. Um, hmm. Uh, unlock. Unlock. Okay. So this is an odd enemy grouping. Um. I can work this out. Work this out in my head. Still glad I did not put this on, on easy because I, I do not want this to be baby mode. Move! Damn it! <laughs> okay. Somehow I'm getting parrying wrong. Oh, whoa! That was the wrong response. Um. Nope. More Patriot intel. Bring me more, and maybe I can develop something interesting from it. Okay, so he's been incapacitated. Now I gotta figure these assholes out. They shouldn't be too hard on their own. Oh, okay! What the hell? Oh, God, what am I again? So that's your plan, game. That's your plan. Damn it. And I missed an opportunity. This is this is just wild flailing at this point. Damn it! Okay. And can I just leave this encounter? I'm kind of doubting it. This game tends to do that red wall thing. Okay, here we go. I don't have so many of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Speaking of at the top, these damn birds. Okay, now it's just me and this asshole. Catch that late. Not gonna lie, it's almost worth it for the music here. Whoa, hello. Come on, come on. See, so yeah, there's definite debate though. I don't know, we probably already touched on this about um, too many cinematic trailers this year at E3. I kind of... Oh. I'm of that opinion. I, I agree that there are too many cinematic trailers. It's an unfortunate necessity of, like, long dev cycles to, like... Oh. I want to do Robo Origins. 
Oh god, that would be miserable if you could throw down the elevator. I mean, how long is that drop? Yeah, too many cinematic trailers, but there are some really good ones this year. 12 minutes in death loop looks like um, two approaches to the same problem, and I am kind of interested to see how they turn out. I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding mm. oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions oh. of rank and file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner is waiting, right? Is it more fascinating inside or outside of the jar? Just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. And whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. As long as those brains aren't going through Bubsy 3D, I mean, I know that would make me want to murder everyone in sight if I had to play that every waking hour. It's like, yeah, my head is in jar, I have nothing left to live for. Now I'm playing Bubsy 3D! This... No. Big Shell, though, makes sense. At least according to Solidus's exposition, the whole solid snake simulation thing and the bits that he was going on, in spite of the later reveal that the S3 was supposed to be the selector for societal sanity or what what the What? Miss Troll? Oh, she's No. A spear body if I had to guess. Like controlled by an AI. Okay. We're getting into some boss rush territory. If I had known this, I would have tried to jump before entering the door. I mean, that's just how, it, how you do. Hello. Oh. I forgot she had to rearm herself. Okay. Rarely is it more appropriate in a game to say that. Okay. Well. No. Okay. Come on down. Come on down. Okay. A little early for that. Okay, I have to remember I can't spam parry. Whoa, hello. Hello. Let's see. And the jar he had to Okay, oh, where'd she go? Yeah, I. I can kind of see that um, trying to nudge your head jar to the floor, that that would I'm sitting here imagining Cyrax from Mortal Kombat Annihilation saying death is the only way out. Ooh. Talk about robot hell. And she backed away. Here we go. No, no, cut it out. Lady. Enough. With the arms. Nintendo gave up on arms, why can't you? Now where's my Splatoon boss? Oh man. Yeah, that would be rough if she clipped out of this set. Uh... Whoa, hello. If she clipped out of the world. Thankfully, this isn't Sonic 06, so it's slightly less likely that she will. Slightly. Of 
What was that, everyone? Not so tough without your arms! Like, all of them? Which way am I? Hello, okay! Oh, shit! Dude! I got wrecked by this guy! Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright, that's right. This guy was the parry or die test. Gotcha. Please tell me that was all. I'm really not expecting it to be. Nope, didn't expect it to be. Okay. Mm. Okay. I had a bad feeling this was going to be a boss rush. Okay. I think he's actually using his pieces to better effect this time around. The hell? Because I don't remember seeing that. Oh. Jumble Flurry Psycho Crusher thing. Okay. Wake up, right? Oh, oh, there we go. The hell? Okay. What the hell are you doing, guy? Uh, this is going to be bad if I'm running out of... Running out of healing juice. Huh. Yeah, I definitely like Mistral's boss music more than this guy's. I mean, he gets the point across, but... Come on. Okay. Okay, here we go. Finally locked him again. Okay, where is he at? Is that everyone? Oh, that was an A rank. Game. You're killing me. Oh, there we go. Keep going, guys. You are almost to the server room. Why am I getting the weirdest blood bank from Blade vibe off of this? Don't the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world it just got a bit too complicated. As opposed to running it in the Matrix. Virtually, though, no fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. They do kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it, though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are. Nature's bitch. perfect sociopaths. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this. Code of conduct that I hate kids. I'm glad I never was one. To performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Big guy, biggest picture. 
Oh boy. Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge. Are okay, gone. not gonna lie, I was half expecting to crush that brain right there. Couldn't remember. I've seen this before. It's been a long time. We don't create the market the? for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? No, just the cool ones. Bullshit. War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Good old days after 9-11. So just to be clear, this guy is the bad guy, right? I'm getting a distinct bad guy vibe from him. Follow me. Yeah, that's something I have to give the makers of this game. Holy shit, they have balls. Because, <laughs> wow. The closest I would have expected to a line like that coming out of a video game would be from some indie product trying to just trigger as many people as humanly possible. But for that to be in a major AAA release with ratings as high as this game has, it's like, holy shit, guys. And that's not a complaint. It's nice to see they're not holding back. I, I ugh, hate censorship. They get their point across. It's like the no Russian thing, though, in a way. No Russian just set people off so bad. It's like, that was the point, gaming media! Movies can do it. Games can do it, too. Radio plays can do it. Shit! Damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is going to take some time. Slow and painful. Okay. That must be some of them heliocopter aerial planes. Oh boy. Right, this battle. I need an adult. <laughs> oh my god. Is this what Prophet was fighting to become at the end of Crisis 3? Because... Prophet's a dick. Okay, whoa, hello. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Come on. Hmm. This is a puzzle. Where? Oh, where? Okay, missiles from the hit. Okay. So the helicopters aren't going to be... Okay. Okay, whoa, shit. Your body should analyze it for you. Show you where to attack so it does not detonate. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe mm -hmm. you can drop his gun. I'm assuming it's the joints to those panels, but I can't remember this fight that well. Okay, let's see. Evangelion Wiki! Okay, what the hell? Damn, I thought I had that parry. Mm. My parry skills need work. Oh, shit! That was it. 
I get it. Okay, we got him back from him. Let's see if we can provoke him into another. Damn it! No, oh, no, no, no. Split that shield right down the middle. Come on. Come on, Sundowner. Okay. Wrong. Focus. Focus. I can do this. Saw that shield, that line right down the middle. Thank God he said scream and not squeal. Okay. Come on. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Oh, missiles. Okay, gotta line that cut up to take out that shield. Come on, Sundowner. Okay, getting backhanded with explosive panels seems a little, a little mean. Okay, come on, and... There it goes. Oh. Okay, so you can continue to do it. Got it. Okay. Back away, back away. Hmm. Even, okay. I'm trying to remember the first time I heard a game say the F word, and I think it might have been GTA 3. Up. Oh. There it goes. And I forgot he can continue that. Sundowner's halfway dead. Good to know. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Come on, get over here. Can't take too many more hits like that. Quadruped Ava unit. Yeah, with the tethers and such that they use throughout the series, I'm wondering how that would work. Because, I mean, I would expect that would... Oh, boy. Tried to, tried to parry. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I'm going to try this one more time. Oh, because work, crap. Ugh. This... My focus is way off today. It's so bad. Oh, mm. I mean, I can't even parry. Come on. Sundown or do something? Okay. Oh, that's... that's rough. Okay, come on. Nope, no, can't keep falling for his bait. Yeah, okay, Y button this time. Okay, whoa. He says basically wearing a bomb vest. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to crash and burn on this one, but okay. Whoa! And which button? Yeah, it is past five. Okay, here we go. Oh. That's my line, I think. Okay. Come on. I think with the way work's been lately, I might actually have to call off next week. Oh, come on. So I don't want to lose more practice in between than necessary. Come on. Okay, so I had one of those. How many repair and paste? So I have one more repair and paste. Okay, and keep that in mind for this battle. Oh, 
Okay, so that is unblockable. I did not notice the golden aura in time. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn it. We pulled the shield forward. Okay, X or Y. Here we go. Yeah, scheduling shenanigans, um, a little bit less scheduling is, I think they're actively trying to kill us there, but, uh, yeah, we got numerous, they're definitely scheduling shenanigans. Okay, and vertical, there we go, second slash. Okay, he's at 55%. This is... Oh. Which one am I locked on? Okay, here we go. Ah! Come on, Sundowner. You know, I have to give it to Raiden, though. He reacts surprisingly well to being slapped in the face with explosives multiple times. And then poking explosives. Come on. Okay. Progress. Yeah, yeah. Give me that. Give me that right now, Sundowner, because I never really was a big fan of open faced bastards. Close that shield up. A move! Damn! Okay. Move! Damn it! Not jumping in time, committing too much to my own swings. I don't think. Okay. Okay. Come on. That's 16 health. Where's he at? That's not good. Okay. That's a new one. Helicopter. Okay, what? Okay. Normally, I would have focused the ads had I been focusing. Not gonna lie, kinda glad I pushed the advantage. What little advantage there was to have. Okay. Let's see if this guy can survive falls better than that other ninja. Oh, well, maybe not. QTEs incoming, thank you for the warning. Oh, this needs to be a game. Hell. Okay, whoop. Ah, off me. Fools! Like, come on, Platin. This this needs to be like a. I can almost see this being an infinite runner on mobile. I hate to say it. Uh. Man, I got the hell out of my way, Ruth. Throw a bird at him. Oh, hello. Your face is shit. All of the pieces everywhere.
got freezing. Bitch. Okay. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting to get that this week. What happens in three hours? Then why did you say it in the first place? I have a call to make. <laughs> Got yourself shaving? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> He's good. Real good. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Raiden here. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. Awful dismissive in his. Hurry. Fall, Doc. What Sundown Come on. said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9 11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. I cannot face Palm any harder than, than could not get there and die. that line he deserves. I just, well, 4, what? 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So, whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's going to spike demand for PMCs, it's got to be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. <laughs> no. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The War on Terror Part 2. Electric Contact Boogaloo. The Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Marshal? Then we have to get there first. Nevers Muzna, impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. Yeah, let's just fire Jack like a gun. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solis. I mean, hey, he's basically all but professed to being a weapon, so, you know, why not? Let's just launch him like a freaking missile. Oh, God. Ugh. Thank God for Sundowner not pulling a Mundus and keeping me for multiple weeks. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to crash a little bit harder than I already am right now. Thanks for sticking with me, <laughs> even when my eyelids didn't. Um, I will be back this weekend with Armored Core Last Raven. I am off work this weekend. Maybe I'll actually be coherent for it. So Last Raven on Saturday, Onimusha Warlords on Sunday. Both should be during the 4 o'clock hour. And if work gets any dumber, I may be skipping Wednesday. But at least I don't have to worry about boss battle shenanigans. So, mm, I'll see what I can do. Either way, though, thanks one and all for stopping by. And I will see you when I see you. And hopefully this one will actually be uploaded on YouTube in proper time. Ugh. We'll see about editing the other ones tomorrow or the next day. Damn it, work! Trying to crush me? Only thing I crush is soda cans. Something. I'm gonna go be in incoherent elsewhere. Later. Take it easy. Hmm.